Hey everybody, this is Constipator Brew Cage here with more Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Last episode, uh, we took down Treetops. And this episode, we're gonna do Wild Flight and Metalhead. I'm gonna do Wild Flight first because I don't like it. I hate it. It's evil. It's wild and crazy and evil, and I hate it. And also, it's closer. So, uh,. Closer all around, I mean, it's closer to the point. Or it's further from the blueness and stuff. Let that get here. Right up here. Um, here. Oh god, that was close. A lot of close to the water stuff in this. And I missed. Let's loop around, kill that. Kill that, please. Ah, crap. Look. Yeah, if you fall in the water and those you die, I don't think I mentioned that. I haven't had a call to mention before. So, you. And go over here. <coughs> uh, here. Kill the boat. Don't hit the water. Arch. Okay, get that. Get that. Thank you. And actually curve around, hit that, get that. There we go. That's that's how you do it. That's how you do that too. And you go down here. And there's like sort of a clutter of them. No! God damn it! Oh my god. Why I hate wild flight right here. It's just it's just all around jerk. And I think I missed one. I did. Ah, fuck. No oh, well. There's always time to try a new order in these. I feel this thought actually might have been a better thing if I hadn't landed. Uh, because that one is gonna be coming up here. Oh, it's Bruce since we're going this way. Now let's see if we'll run into another one. No, we won't. Stop fucking landing, Spyro, seriously. And there's two of them going that way, and I got stuck behind the thing. The thing. <clears throat> and chests. <coughs> now, I don't get what the order they're trying to go for in this is, because... They put the chest last, which I don't know how you're supposed to do it in some sort of... What the hell, how did you miss? How did you miss that Spyro? Uh, kill, 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 please, can you hit something? Ah, <sighs> I fucking hate this level. I'm getting pissed. As long as I'm in front of me trying to keep it clean, I can't with Wild Flight. As much as I would like to. Yeah, let's try a different order. Get some boats. Boats and hose. Get your boats. Get your hose. What? I didn't. I did not fucking hit the water. <laughs> okay, boat. Another boat. Arch. Chest. Doesn't make sense. More boat. Boat. What about that? Huh? How, how about that? How about that? How about that? And Spyro can't fly in that surface circle. Of course he can't. Ah, <sighs> crash. That would freaking work. Perfectly, so he is ahead of it. Ahead of it. I get a little screwed over. What? How do you not hit it, Spyro? Seriously, 
I died? Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Got interrupted there. Uh, kill some stuff. Now the good thing about that, it gave me like a little chance to cool down and I, my timing's off. Uh, more failure, more failure. Six minutes. Okay. So, oh, pull up. Hit the boat. Hit that. Boat hit the chest. Okay, that works too. There we go. Okay. This is working good this time. Okay, go up. Go down. Nice arch. Okay. Oh, oh, we got all the boats. Oh god, this is this is turning out splendid. He thinks that's how you do it. Okay. As long as we don't miss the chest, we're gonna be good. Where are you at? Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Seven minutes later. Okay. Thank you. I mean, yeah, I hate that place. Freaking a minute and a half. No, I don't want to. I do not want to do that again. I don't want to ever do that again. Well, I know that I will. I know I will. I'm always going to come back. So, eight minutes in. Um, no, actually, yeah. No, screw it. <coughs> Metalhead's not that long a level, I don't think. It's a boss level, it's not that long. It's, uh, it's the fact that that took me like eight minutes already. My video is just me trying to do wild flight. Uh, okay, we're gonna do Metalhead, then we'll end the video. <laughs> they make it so easy to be lazy. Alright, Metalhead. The guy's pretty metal. I think they should they should have played some like metal it's his music. And these guys are funny. They kick their young down at you. They're young, are wrapped in metal. They're the they're exactly the the things from uh, treetops, but they're wrapped in metal. They put some like uh, <laughs> they put them in tin foil. They still throw bananas at you. Uh, no new enemies here. I don't think. You want to get that? Thank you. I think you can just fly over here. Yes, you can. Okay. So, Metalhead is... He's a different when it comes to boss fighting. Like, in the ways of how you defeat him. It's pretty different. <laughs> they just die if they hit you. That's funny. He kicks them at you so hard that if you stop them, they die. And different. Uh, see, you can get hit with those. A little bit different with from past boss levels. There's not really that much health, but there, this one actually has a decent amount because they figure it's harder. Oh god! Get hit with the bananas. Watch out for the bananas. Get everything. 
Okay. Now you kick more young people at me. Can we? If you just dodge those, what happens? Oh wow, they just die. Oh, sick. That's easy. So this is just like Dr. Shem, pretty much. This is Dr. Shem 2. 2.0. Slightly harder Dr. Shem. These ones are so, like, adult sounding on the third. And one sixty nine gems we got Sadiki. This big robot is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt its power supply. Yeah, he just tells you exactly how to beat it. Uh huh, we're not gonna go fight him yet because there's more stuff out here. I think. Yes, there is more stuff out here. Oh, let's see here. So we go over here. And down there you can fly. Down here. And you can do that without falling in the gloop. But uh, I didn't. Um we got a life. Twenty lives. Back back up at twenty lives. Go upstairs. I don't like going upstairs in this game. Or in these spiral games, it's sort of hard to go upstairs. And we have a key! And we kill some stuff, kill some more stuff. Always killing things, that one. And as I'm going through this, it's like, the, Spyro, the dragons are out, they all know Spyro, and I was like, oh yeah, thanks, you finally got to me. Been waiting for you. And they just sound like they've. Like, this is a big setup. It sounds like this is like a rite of passage. Like, the dragons are working with Nas Nasty Gnork, as they call him. And this is some just big, elaborate. Like, tests for Spyro. Like, that one said, like, maybe you can be a real dragon one day. And like, screw what Spyro is, a real dragon. I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, yeah, it's my thought on this game. My, I, this is actually not a thought that I've had for a while, this is sort of coming to me as I play through this one. Play through it this time because, uh, let's, let's go ahead and save. Yeah, because I'm actually listening to the dragons this time, I always, I used to skip them all in the past. So yeah, that big guy over there who's metalhead, and he's not like a rock god or anything. But those, the towers, those are the, what you want to attack when they're green. Green light means go, you go and attack them. You you just charge into them. And, but when they turn the red, they get all electric -y and stuff, and you can't hit them. So let's just start this out. Ow. Oh crap, I need to use lasers and stuff. God damn it. Oh, fucking A. And he throws stuff at you. And shoots lasers. Oh, crap. And god, this is everyone ever fucking not lit up. Seriously. Thank you. Now that I'm dead. Um, and in between, um, you got these up top areas where he got his, uh, ammo, I just guess. I guess we'll call it ammo that he threw at you. And it's, before we go to the fight there, we're gonna head to this side area here. Get some more gems. Okay, more gem poppers, a red gem in the middle, and a chest. And God, single no sparks run of this game, that would be like impossible. Okay, so let's see.
or as I wait until they turn red to go. Kill, kill, kill. Okay, stand off to the side actually, maybe not hit him. Ah, god, kill. Close. And I think Metalhead just kill me. But I think they oh and you forgot you have to start at the beginning now, of course. Okay. Time for a red web redemption. <laughs> One more. One more. Okay. We're gonna follow you. We're gonna follow you. And he has, he has like a... Rocker. Uh, he's got a mohawk, it's funny. That's the only thing, like, metal heady about him. Oh, thank you. You just killed yourself. <laughs> he just killed himself. Freaking threw his ammunition. I think there's. I feel like there's more up there. Uh, there may or may not be. That wasn't too bad, actually. One of the harder bosses. I think I said that about Blowhard, too. I know, uh, unlike Blowhard, I actually died this time. Actually, no, I'll fly over there first. And it used to always be so hard to fly over here. This is somewhat a difficult jump, I guess. But, Jesus, a long episode. And we got up to this top area where you had his guys waiting up here that he threw at us. Let's go around the corner, and that's it. Metalhead. And I guess we'll just take it shorter way down. Let's go jump down there. And let's return home and go talk to the balloonists and get our asses out of here. Out to the land of the into the land of the dreams. The dream weavers. Eight thousand treasures, fifty-eight dragons, seventy-two percent through the game. And now we talk to Cray. Wow, that was quick. I barely had a chance to pass that leak. There was a leak in your balloon? That's a good thing you passed it. Jump in the balloon and I'll show you to the Dreamweavers world. Go to Dreamweavers. Let's do this. Let's do this hard. Entering Dreamweavers world. Mm -hmm. Dreamweavers, pretty cool world. <laughs> it's, this has a challenging levels, I guess. Which makes sense because, except for the last place, it's the last place. That makes sense. I can grammar. And these things are pretty cool. There's a guy in here with a cannon that he, uh, he grows and shrinks these guys. Um, the cannon is back up there. You actually can get to the cannon later because you actually sort of have to use it. But when they're big, they attack you. And they're, when they're small, they just float around and look cute. And there we have the Dark Passage. Oh, God damn it! And those ones, when they're big, you can't kill them. No. Kill it. Thank you. Or at least I don't think they attack you. They might attack you. Don't hold me into any of the things I said, because I, I said that one beast didn't attack you, but it did. Ryza attacked me. And those two, really this is what you need the cannon for, because those two are rarely going to be small. And here we have... Screw it. No, I was... God, 20 minutes, okay. You really have to end this video off. Uh, first dragon. Latif. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. 
While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. I guess that's pretty good advice for this world. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna end this video here because it's past 20 minutes. So, uh, if you like what you saw, press the like button at the bottom of the screen, hit the subscribe button at the top left. I think it's, no, it's about the top middle, it's sort of to the left. It's right by the title of the video. But, uh, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, share this video. Help me get some views. Alright, until next time, peace out.